Pia wants you to know before you decide to fight a fire by using a fire extinguisher, please follow the following three steps. First of all, make sure the fire department has been called. And second, make sure that everyone has evacuated your home or the building. And third, be sure that you have a safe escape plan. When you use a fire extinguisher, make sure that your back is always to the exit. Good job, Theo. <laughs> Okay, Theo, here we go. I'm going to show you the pass system. So, pull, you're going to aim, you're going to squeeze the handle, and then you're going to sweep across the base of the fire. So now we're going to demo that. So this is what we call an ABC extinguisher. A, think of ashes, is your regular combustible materials. B, you're gonna think of liquids like boiling. Those are your um, light fuels, small gas spills. And then C, think current, electrical. So for a computer, if there's a spark. So you can use this for all types of fires. You can check your extinguisher once a month as you're walking by, but you wanna make sure that the needle is in the green. That means it's ready to use. For the home, select a multi-purpose extinguisher, one that can be used on multiple types of home fires such as an ABC. You also want to make sure it's large enough that you can put out small fires, but not so heavy that it's difficult to handle. This would be a perfect size. Also, you want to make sure that the fire extinguishers are placed um, primarily in your kitchen, um, in a garage, and in a basement. <laughs>